In this video we'll take a look on how to add other harness components inside the harnesses. So what I did around here, we are going to see in the future video how to fill those plastic channels with cables. But the general idea is that all the components that come mounted on the harness, they need to be in the harness product that we created. So if I open this rear inverter harness in a new window, this is what I want to see. So we will have the connectors that we added at the beginning, electrified connectors. We have the bundle wires. We have the electrified retainer. And I also added the plastic channel and the grommet. Because the grommet is like a retainer. And this is the right way to organize components inside the harness in Katia V5 harness design. All the components that are electrified, they need to be inside the product of the harness, the exact product that you made a geometrical bundle. So when we use the geometrical bundle to give electrical properties to this product, everything that's electrified and is going to be connected with this multi-branchable file, it needs to be inside this product. If you have something else outside this product, so this is the product here, you see here it's pink. So if you have everything that connects to this bundle wire outside of this product, you'll get errors in Katia V5 and you'll not be able to use them anymore. So they will, so there are a lot of errors that appear. And this is the main secret. You cannot have components connected by harnesses, everything thrown around products. So if you ever have that or do something like that, you need immediately to open another product. So don't try to use the same products and reorganize them because you already have links between them and references and all kind of stuff. So they're in a way they're compromised. They can be fixed, but it will take more time than to make new files. So you can start fresh with the product and just copy stuff around and reorganize your products. So this is something to remember all the time when you work in a company, not uh, necessarily for this project. In here I added the plastic channels after that, but the plastic channels are not electrified, so they do not interact with this, with the file of the bundles, with the multi-branchable. There are no links, but there are links between multi-branchable and connectors because they are electrified. So in here I added the plastic channel and uh, I fill this in. And then let's take a look forward here. So in here we have this file that we added, the fixing modifications. And in here, this is the part that you need to add inside the product. So it's not electrified, it's not interacting with the bundles. Those retainers are from the shelf, so those are not custom, so they will be added inside the product exactly in the moment when you connect them with the bundle otherwise you get errors so if we take a look at this harness this is the junction box harness if we open this in a new window so we have all the retainers and the connectors here and only the junction box it's missing so let's just add this so if i go here where the junction box is and this is the this is the whole assembly with all the mechanical parts so if you go on the hard drive and you make a copy of this assembly call this junction box and then we just open it take off the lines and this is the body with the junction box so I can delete everything above it and then everything below it and take this body and make it main body just delete this empty body properties just Add the name, don't forget to add the name here, otherwise it's not going to work. So save this, now this is saved as a file. Copy. If you go in the junction box harness, 
I'm going to paste it here. But before that, you can go here. And this body, you can hide it or delete it. If you delete it, just make a backup of the file so you can have it in the future. So junction box harness. Just add the junction box here in the product. Open a new window and this is how my junction box harness should look. Should have the box. All the wires coming out of the box, retainers, connector, everything that uh, you have here. Let's save this. So the exact same thing I did with all the other harnesses. In here, for example, we have this harness and this is going to be so I'm going to show you one more demonstration and uh, then you'll have to do all the plastic channels in the rear. Here we have the fixing modification file. Let's make a copy, copy here. And this is going to be called front motor retainer. Let's open. And here is the retainer. I want to observe here that there are, this is how Katia saved this, there are two bodies, so just keep both of them. Okay, you see there are two bodies, that's okay. Let's make this the main body. Let's delete the empty body. Call this front motor retainer, the same as the file. Front motor harness, just add it inside here, and open a new window. So this is how the harness is going to look, connectors, wires, have here the retainer, and you can design here cable ties, so two cable ties here, and one here, one here. And then at the end you can take this file here, you can create like a backup copy. But you open this in a new window and you delete all the elements that you inserted in uh, each harness. So it's going to be the plastic channels on the rear, it's going to be the grommet, it's going to be this uh, retainer on the rear going forward it's going to be this retainer in the front both bodies and then we have this retainer here that is just for uh, position so we are left with only mechanical parts that are not part of our harnesses brackets stuff that it's welded the new tray so this is the file that you're going to leave So now your fixing modification file is only going to have stuff that it's uh, mechanical outside of the harness. As always, remember to save everything. Okay. So make sure you do all of those modifications. You take each harness and you add the parts inside. So the junction box, the front retainer. You should already have all the other retainers that are electrified because this is how uh, we added them. And on the rear, you have the grommet, plastic channel, the other plastic channel, and this small retainer here. Because in a future video, we are going to add those wires inside the plastic channels as you can see here. So see you in the next video.